Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. Uh, it's that time of year again. We like to give away hand dip taper candles. And thought we'd show you how we do it. Uh, this is our big pot that we do shrimp boils and crab boils in. Uh, it's full of water. You can see the steam coming up. And this smaller pot, this is a turkey uh, frying pot. That's full of wax up to about three inches from the top. Um, it's not quite melted yet. We're just getting ready. We use these uh, these little racks here that I made up just out of some old aluminum that we had laying around. We've got four of them, so we can dip 48 candles at a time. And uh, we just start threading the the wick on there until we end up with that. And that's we'll do 12 candles. Each, each uh, little rack here. So once it melts all the way, we'll get back to you and show you okay, how it Okay, so it got dark on me. Had to set up some lights, but I think we're about ready to go. What you do is you take your rack with all the wick on it. You try not to get too much steam on it because that'll make your uh, candle sputter. So you dip it in pretty quick. And you dip it down fairly deep. Now this one you want to hold in there a long time to let that uh, the wax really absorb into the wick. And once it's in there, you don't have to worry about the steam quite so much. It's a little cool out tonight, so these are gonna uh, these are gonna be ready to dip pretty quick. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, they're they're really well saturated, so that'll be a nice burning candle. And then you just start it all over again. You want to feel it uh, to make sure that it's not too hot still. If, if your uh, wick is still too hot, and it's not such a problem now, but as the candle gets thicker, uh, it takes longer to cool down. If you dip it while it's still too hot, you'll start tapering down towards the bottom because you'll just be remelting the wax off the bottom. These can be pretty quick dips. And you want to dip them to the same point every time. And it takes about 25 or so dips to form the candle. We, we take ours to 3 quarters of an inch instead of 7 eighths. Uh, for a couple of reasons because one it saves a lot of wax and two we make our own candle holders and people buy these candles off us so if they have our holder that's slightly smaller than the commercial holder then uh, they can't use commercial candles on it they gotta buy ours those are already starting to get thicker Don't hold them in too long or else it'll re-melt the wax. You can keep checking, kind of eyeball down them. If they look like they're tapering towards the bottom. You're either not letting it cool enough or you're dipping them too slowly.
And remember, this is Santa's work, man. This is rough work out here, so make sure to keep yourself hydrated. Oh, holy night. Now when they get up to about this size, uh, it's maybe a quarter of an inch, they make a really good birthday candle. These, uh, these dippers I made have threaded nuts on a threaded rod, so uh, you can make them any size you want to. This here is 10 inch. Remember to pace yourself. You're not in any rush here. It's Christmas. You don't want your wax too hot for this. Ideally, about 175, 180 degrees, and they'll build faster for you. All right, there it is, 12 3 quarter inch hand dip beeswax candles. And make sure you use clean wax. Anything with any honey in it, uh, any slum gum, anything like that, it, they just they won't burn right. They'll sputter. They won't uh, they won't stay lit. So make sure you clean the wax real well first. This is what I'm using. These are. Uh, wax blocks that we uh, got out of the cappings and uh, first we we float them in hot water not boiling water you don't want the steam to uh, the, the water vapor to come up through the wax because it'll uh, be encapsulated in the wax and it will get into your wick so um, try to keep the water about 180 190 degrees if it's cold out try not to let it steam up through the wax and uh, cool it down slowly let most of the stuff settle to the bottom or to the top and then take the wax out uh, after it's cool scrape the, the crap off the bottom off the top and then uh, remelt it in a double boiler with no water um, in the wax pan and then drain it through a strainer and you should get some pretty good wax and then once you got them the size you want them, you just take a, a sharp knife. Now it, they're still uh, 
they're still warm so the wax is still quite soft and they're quite easy to, to just cut off there let them harden all the way after that and then you can dress the bottoms and there you go a nice set of beeswax candles Myself. Oh. Face yourselves and stay hydrated. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. I gotta go put him to bed. <laughs> I think he got in the meat.